What is up everybody? So a ton of people in the comments below have been asking how I created that film look in my previous video shot on the Sony a7S III. Today is gonna to be blessing you guys with all of those free presets, including borders, grains, transitions, basically everything you need to create that style of video. So hopefully this helps you out, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe. All right guys, so now you have downloaded the free presets and we are in Premiere and have a video that we wanna create that kind of film style. So here is just a little sequence I made um, that you saw in the beginning of the video. I already have it laid out. I have my color correction already and I'm at the point now where my video is pretty much done and I wanna create that film style. So what you wanna do is once you have the film border downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to take that folder, which I have right here, um, and you're gonna to wanna to drag it into Premiere. So I already have it dragged in right here. You wanna just drag it into your project files, and then you're gonna have all these overlays. So we have all of our textures, transitions, everything loaded up in Premiere, and the first thing I'd wanna do with my footage is pick a border. So I like this one in the fourth folder, and you can just set an in and out point on the footage and then you want to drag it on top of your clips. I already have it right here um, and as you can see when you drag it on it has just this white box. You want to have your footage actually show so you go into your effects control and you want to change your blend mode and for this border specifically you're going to want to use multiply and then you already have a nice um, vintage film border and it has grain embedded into it and it honestly gives a nice little color correction as well um, and as you can see already that's really trying to starting to make the footage look um, kind of have that film style and then the next thing I would want to do after picking this out since it's already got the grain kind of bit built into it I just want to add it into this border so in these other folders, you can see some of them are just black screens with you know, this little stamps and kind of, it, it adds a little bit more aesthetic to your footage. So you can set an in and out point again, drag that over to your clip. You can put it, you wanna bring it above the first border that you brought in. So as you can see, I have it right here. And again, it goes into a black screen. So you're gonna have to go back into your blending mode and for this one, instead of multiply, we are going to be using screen. And then we really have this, this beautiful and cool image that looks a little bit like this. And then after you bring in screen for each one, um, this overlay is a little short, so I just duplicated it by holding Alt and dragging over. So yeah, once you have this across all your footage, and you made sure to put screen on each individual clip. Um, the last thing that I'd wanna do is add some transitions. So in here, there's three really cool film transitions that are like little rolls, and you can just pull one, or you can set an in and out so you don't bring the audio file in. You can just pull one in, and as you can see, it's a pretty harsh transition right now. So again, we're gonna use the blending mode screen. And then that will give us a nice clean transition that looks a little bit like this. Let me render it out and then we'll show you. All right, cool. So now it's rendered out and here's your transition. So this is your final product with the transitions, the overlay, the extra border, and it really gives an awesome video and it's super, super easy. All right, hopefully that walkthrough was helpful for you to get set up with these film presets. If you have any troubles or questions, feel free to hit me in the comments below. I'll try to respond as soon as I can. As always, be good and look forward to the next video.